Babysitting these terrors is completely out of the question. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 evil movie children. For this list, we're looking at those feature film children that make you question that whole having kids thing. Oh, Kevin, stop that. That's enough. Let mom or daddy talk. Kevin, quit that! On the one hand, you sort of need kids to help continue the human race. On the other, you stand the chance of creating demon spawn bent on ushering in an era of darkness. It's a crapshoot, really. Number 10. Mutated Children, The Brood. The idea of painless childbirth through an external womb might be appealing to some people, but when the resulting children band together to become a pint-sized hit squad, conventional birthing methods seem a little more tolerable. Plus, there's that whole psychic link to cute children who will kill on a whim. Don't be fooled by the little onesies. These mutated tykes will straight up murder you. Number 9. Samara Morgan, The Ring Kids these days and their technology. Samara is guilty of using videotapes to paranormally harass and then slaughter everyone who views them. Seven days. <sighs> Granted, she was abandoned in a well for seven days and her adoptive parents were deathly afraid of her, but who's to say she wasn't simply misunderstood? No offense, ma'am, but what the hell does that mean? It means ever since that girl's been gone, things have been better. Then again, the horses literally killing themselves to get away from her should have been a tip-off that this is one bad seed. Number 8. Young Michael Myers, Halloween. Some people are just built for murder. <laughs> While most kids were counting their Halloween candy or egging their neighbor's house, this 10-year-old was busy acting on his homicidal tendencies. <laughs> After murdering a bully and then his own family, Mikey apparently felt a sliver of empathy and spared his baby sister. Clearly, being a baby is the secret to surviving around this murderous preteen. Happy Halloween, bro. Number 7. David Zellaby and Friends, Village of the Damned. A man is dead. We must protect ourselves. The law exists for your protection. It's of no use to us. Questions probably should have been asked earlier. Like, what's up with all these mysterious pregnancies? It's a seven-month embryo after only five months. How come all these kids in this town were born on the same day? And what's up with those eyes? We all know kids who have their parents wrapped around their little finger. But this crew takes it to another level with the killing and whatnot. Oh, I hope that none of them lives. And honestly, we'd probably be a little murdery too with those haircuts. <laughs> Henry, come on down here. Number six, Henry Evans, the good son. Now we know why they left him home alone. There are good children, naughty children, and then there are kids who are serial killers in the making. If I let you go, you think you could fly? We're actually
actually surprised it took Henry's parents so long to figure out their child is a killer. But then, these things happen. Oh my god. However, they could have taken a hint from his recreational interests, like killing animals and causing traffic accidents. Say goodbye. No! I told you I can't talk to you right now. I guess, Daddy. Will you come over and play with me? Number five, Gage Creed, Pet Cemetery. This poor baby didn't want to be a murderer. In fact, if his heartbroken father had just let his little soul rest in peace, he probably would have just floated off to baby heaven. <laughs> One minute he's chasing a kite into the road, the next minute he's slashing tendons left and right. Where did you go? But it's not like he chose that life, the life chose him. Come here. Number four, Damien Thorne, The Omen. Look at me, Damien. It's all for you. When nannies are killing themselves for your child, it's a red flag. Secretly adopted babies seem to turn out evil for some reason, and this one is apparently the most evil. <laughs> As in, this kid is literally the devil. Why play with toy trucks and plastic army men when you can be assassinating your unborn baby brother? What a devilish little rascal. Number three, Rhoda Penmark, The Bad Seed. That's a mighty pretty piece. It's Eau Claire de la Luna, Daddy. In English, that means by the light of the moon. Apparently, having a severe hairstyle as a child fills you with seething, homicidal rage. When I was in school, we didn't have no picnics. I don't care what you didn't have. We blame it on the pigtails, but it could just as easily be the serial killer genetics from her maternal grandmother. My, yes, that simply fascinating paranoidal female. Unfortunately for anyone this little girl encounters, if you even mildly inconvenience her, you're gonna meet your maker. But he kept on crying and making a noise. And I was afraid somebody would hear him, so I kept on hitting a mother! Pro tip, try not to win any penmanship contests against her in the near future. At least, not if you value your life. It's the only gold medal Miss Fern gives. And it was really mine. Everybody knew I wrote the best hand, and I should have had it. Number two. Isaac Croner, Children of the Corn. If you thought the young punks who hang out by the 7-Eleven were bad, you've obviously never been to a corn husker state. This wacky cult of hyper-religious preteens really didn't like adults, and their pint-sized ringleader hated them the most. In the dream, the Lord did come to me, and he was a shape. It was he who walks behind the rose. With mass murder and human sacrifices as the order of the day, this is one evil movie kid that seriously makes us question our next cross-country road trip. I am the word and the giver of his laws. Disobedience to me is disobedience to him. Do it now, or your punishment shall be a thousand times, a thousand deaths! Before we send our top pick for a time out, here are a few honorable mentions.
one more night. Or I'm gonna get my wet dream, boy. All right, Wade. He's gonna do it anyway. He ain't one of us. He don't belong. Besides, he's so damn ugly and makes my gums ache. I'm sorry. Nobody will ever love you. Number one. Mother, what's wrong with me? Regan McNeil, The Exorcist. It's just like the doctor said, it's nerves, and that's all. It's always confusing when good kids go bad. To her credit, Regan was just a regular little girl before an actual demon took over her body and had her vomiting all over priests. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually her innocence that makes the evil possessing her that much more intimidating. You don't know whether to hug her or weep gently for her. Stop! 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 It's burning! It's burning! Do something, Doctor, please help her! That is, until her head spins around. Then running seems like the best course of action. Do you know what she did? <laughs> Your <laughs> daughter! <laughs> Do you agree with our list? Who's your favorite evil movie kid? Becca. We're almost there. For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Sweetheart, please don't talk anymore.